Hello guys, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have my Asian readathon for you guys. Now, Asian readathon, it is a month-long readathon that's going to take place during May. May already started, but it's a month long, so we're good. And it is hosted by a bunch of a very diverse cast of Asian YouTubers that I'm going to link for you guys down below. I would have loved it if there was a Middle Eastern YouTuber between them, like a booktuber between them, because Middle East is also in Asia but I guess for the next round maybe that would be a wonderful idea for you guys to like think about <laughs> but anyway I have here today my TBR for the Asian readathon now May is a very busy month for me first of all Ramadan <laughs> so Ramadan if you don't know it is the holy Islamic month Ramadan is going to start at the 6th uh, of May. You'll see, I'm going to vlog like the whole, all of May. So you're going to see how Ramadan kind of is. Uh, I'm not the perfect Muslim, I just want to clarify that. But I thought it would be fun to vlog it and vlog Ramadan and show you guys. A lot of readathons going on during May. And uh, this is the first, so this is my first TBR for the Asian readathon. And without further ado, let's get right into the challenges and the TBR. So I'm going to read my challenges from here from my journal. Uh, so the first uh, challenge is to read a book by an Asian author. Here it is, uh, Convenience Store Women by Sayaka Morata. It's translated from the Japanese by Juni Tapley Takimori. So this is a book about a woman who has been working in this convenience store for 18 years and she literally knows everything about it. She knows even how the people think inside it, what the customers would want according to how they react and how they act and she is just so comfortable in her environment there and then all of a sudden someone new um, like uh, comes into her life and she changes, starts changing stuff. Uh, I heard that it's very disturbing and very well written and I'm really looking forward to it. I started reading it but I'm only like at the beginning so I didn't get into it that much. But I'm really excited. The next challenge is to read a graphic novel featuring an Asian character or is written, drawn by an Asian author. And for that, I chose a manga. For that, I chose this manga, which is number six by Atsuko Asano and Hinoki Kino. It is nine volumes and I will try to read it all like during the first week. It is also going to work for the... Um, it's also going to work for a reader book featuring an intersectional Asian character or is written by an intersectional Asian author because it is also a BL manga or a boys love manga. Uh, this is volume one, volume two, volume three volume 4, volume 5, 6, 7, 8, and we have 9 right here. It is about this uh, perfectionist utopian kind of world where people are kind of controlled and they think they live their happiest lives and then things go become different when a person or, or a prisoner escapes from prison and starts showing the realities of that um, utopian, soci utopian society and what is hidden behind it. Uh, I've been wanting to read this manga for a long time now and now that I have all the volume I thought it would be perfect to binge it for Asian Readathon. The next challenge is to read a book by an Asian author that was written, originally written in their native language and has been translated and for that I I chose Frankenstein in Baghdad by Ahmed Sadawi. This was originally written in Arabic and it's translated from the Arabic by Jonathan Wright. This is a story, this is supposed to be the best novel that came out of the Iraqi war and it's supposed to be about a person called Hadi and he collects the bodies uh, of uh, people that were, um, that people that died because of all the explosions that happens in Baghdad and he collects the pieces and he starts sewing together this kind of Frankenstein corpse or a body and then that body comes to life and runs away and starts and people start dying and they don't know if it's and he doesn't know if it's because of his corpse that he sewed together or something else killing uh, people in Baghdad. I'm really excited about it. it. This book got a lot of hype and it's shortlisted. It was shortlisted for the Man Booker International Prize for 2018. I just, I'm really over the moon. I was so proud when it was shortlisted and I'm really excited to read it. Um, I think I will listen to the audiobook if I can get my hands on it. 
final challenge it is to read the group book and it is a thousand beginnings and endings that it was edited by Ellen O. It is a kind of like um, a fairy tale retelling all by Asian author. Um, I know it has Rene Adia, I think, and Roshani Toshki, and a lot of other uh, Asian authors. I'm really excited. To read it, I have the ebook for it. There is one final book I have right here, but I'm not sure if it will fit for that one category. You know, I'm reading I'm reading number six for the graphic novel part and for the read a book featuring an intersectional Asian character. But for the read an intersectional Asian character book, I really want to read Ponty by Charlene Tio. Charlene Teo is a Singaporean uh, author. This uh, novel takes place in Singapore in 2003 and talks about two 16 year old girls uh, during uh, that one summer in 2003 when the mother of one of them, she used to be like a very famous actress during the Ponty movies. I think the Ponty movies are actually real and they're ghost movies that came out in Singapore in the 70s and in the book they are trying to remake those movies and then her mother who has been kind of like depressed and solitary and stuff like that she goes back into the um, limelight and how these two girls are affected by that I think that is the kind of story I really want to read it I think I'm going to read it you know I, I don't know if it fits any of the challenges but it is by an Asian author and it looks so wonderful so I think I'm just going to read it so there you go guys that is my uh, Asian Readathon TBR. This is not going to be my only TBR because I'm going to post my Ramadan TBR closer to Ramadan, like literally after a week from now. And uh, my Panelathon TBR, which is going to be like at the end of May, which is a week long uh, readathon for manga and graphic novels. And it's gonna be a good time. This month, I really wanna get a lot of reading done because I haven't been reading a lot lately and it's so bad. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'm going to vlog the whole month. So please watch my videos, watch my vlogs. Uh, they're gonna be boring. <laughs> uh, I will not promise and say they're going to be fun, but they're just going to be my everyday life. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Paper I'll go in I will I'll go in I will